Eight years ago, the Marine infantrymen, looking a little like this, went into combat fighting extremists in Afghanistan. Much of the gear dated back to the Gulf War, some even older. You, know, you still have canteens, canteen patches, which are pretty much the same that my dad used in Vietnam, you know, with some improvement, but pretty much the same gear. But in terms of size and weight and, and comfort of wear, uh, not a lot of technological improvement in, in this stuff. Fast forward to present day with the Afghanistan fight still on, but this time Marines are looking a little different. In terms of capability and protection, Marine of today is much better equipped and much better protected than he was as little as eight years ago. It's definitely evolved in, uh, since the beginning of the war till now. For Sergeant Paul Peacock, that evolution is personal. Uh, I, think, I think they're great. Uh, anything that can bring a Marine home uh, is a good change. As a scout sniper fighting in Fallujah, his unit lost several Marines to gunshot wounds to the sides, a blow that is now blocked by side armor plates on the new MTV, or Modular Tactical Vest. The MTVs cover lower in your body, both front and back. If you looked at, uh, if you looked at him, if you turned around or if you bent over, then you would notice that almost a quarter of his back was showing, so that was a, uh, that was a big issue. That protection, though, comes at a cost. While the gear of the 2001 Marine weighed in at 40 pounds, the 2009 Marine's gear doubled that figure to 80 pounds. It's a little more bulkier, uh, but it has the protection in all the right places, uh, where this one lacks some, in some places. While Marines continue to engage the enemy across the world, the Corps wants them to know that they're constantly researching, developing, and fielding the very best gear for them to accomplish the mission and come home safely. Marine Staff Sergeant Jeremy Vaught, Stafford, Virginia.